Hello, developers and soccer pioneers! In this video, I present to you a modern application, if not the best soccer league management application out there at the moment. I'll guide you to basic features of the current version, that is, version 2, and show you how it functions from the front to the back end. Also, I've attached a comprehensive documentation and a link to have a personalized demo from Isratech. A quick disclaimer, images and logos in this video are just used for presentation purpose only. Isratech does not own rights to any. Alright, so starting with front-end pages. Home page. This is the main landing page of the application, offering an engaging summary of the league's current activities and statistics. Users can access the home page to quickly get an overview of ongoing fixtures and random match results. All pages on the front end rely on data from the back end to populate and display information as submitted by the administrators. About page. This provides detailed information about the league's history, achievements, and milestones. It serves as a platform to celebrate significant events. Users can visit the About page to gain insight into the league's heritage, past successes, and noteworthy moments. It retrieves dynamic data from the back end to display current fixtures information set by the General Administrator GA, in the Widgets section of the application. Club Page Club pages are dedicated to each club within the league, showcasing club-specific details, player, and comprehensive player statistics. Users can explore individual club pages to learn about the club's players, view player statistics, and access club-specific data. News Page The News component is a dynamic section that displays league-related news and announcements. Users can access the News component on various pages to stay informed about league updates, events, and news. Results Component – Dynamic in Version 3 The Results Component is responsible for recording, storing, and displaying match results including goals, scores, and league standings. Users can access the Results Component to view the outcomes of recent matches and the current league standings. Login Page this is a strictly authenticated page that grants access to administrators to their respective portals on the application. Initially, the administrator with GA access will create login credentials, assign roles, and permissions one administrator must have that will determine what actions will be able to make on the system. If the login credentials entered are correct, you'll be redirected to the dashboard page or else you won't move forward. For example, if I enter wrong credentials, an error message pops up, incorrect credentials. And if I entered the right credentials, it takes me right to the dashboard, which is currently on desktop. This page offers a comprehensive overview of the league's activities and statistics. It serves as the landing page for administrators upon login and provides at-a-glance insights into recent results, upcoming fixtures, top goal scorers, and other key performance metrics. Teams page. This is where general administrators, GA, can manage information related to the league's soccer teams. It includes options to view, create, edit, and delete teams. Each team's profile typically includes details such as team name, establishment year, logo, and other club-specific data. Only GAs can edit or delete teams as needed. For example, you realize if I open one team, we have these two little text buttons on the bottom right that we can use to either edit or delete the club. In most cases, you will use the Edit button, so if I click on it, I'm redirected to Update Club Page, and any change made here will appear everywhere this team is re-elevated on the application. Fixtures Page this is where we can schedule and manage matches within the league. It allows for the creation and modification of fixtures, including setting match dates, times, venues, and specifying opponents. Only GAs can access and modify fixtures, at least in the current version. 
Same features as seen in the Teams page. We have action buttons, that is, edit and delete, that do exactly as they're named. Only super administrators have access to take these actions. For example, if I want to update time on this fixture, click on the edit button, update date and time field, and hit update fixture button, coming back to the fixture, you can see that time has been updated. Players page. This page is where player profiles are managed. It includes personal details of players, positions played, and performance statistics. GAs and TAs can access and update player profiles, including editing player information and removing players if necessary. So we have each club captain here and a list of all league players and respective information. We also have a details button that redirects us to single player details, and bottom right are buttons to act on this player. News module. The news page enables administrators to post and share league-related news and announcements. GAs and TAs can create and publish news articles, share important updates, and engage with league members through news posts. We have general and transfer news. Here you can insert switch from the buttons in the top corner, and also, just like all other pages, we have fully functional action buttons on each news. Settings page. When we come to this page, we'll have everything about this application created. In public widget, we can create or modify information displayed on the front-end side of the application. Titles, subtitles, background image are set and modified in this section. This section contains create forms for a new team, fixture, results, player, news, and administrator. You can modify your account information, including profile picture and password. This widget displays all administrators on the application. It's only viewed by GA access and has permission to edit and delete the account of any administrator. On this page, we have basic information about the administrator, including their access level, permission, and status of the account. By the way, if the account is locked, the user won't log into the portal. Now let's discuss about administrator role and rules. In the current version, we have two roles of administrators, that is, general administrator, GA, and the team administrator, TA. GAs have overall responsibility and control over every feature of the application and manage all other administrators' accounts. TAs have very limited access compared to GAs. They can create and update news, manage players and manager's profiles. Administrator can log out from the button down here. This is version two of the application and we provide a customized test environment for anyone interested in trying out this application. I've linked a comprehensive documentation in the description where you will find a link to the form to request a customized demo. Version three is under development and I'll be back here to present the amazing features up for use. Thank you for watching. If you know anyone interested in this application, please share the information. See you in another video.